Winston mentioned just a few minutes ago, News 4 is tracking the potential for damaging winds and storms tonight. And two weeks ago, deadly storms toppled trees. Power lines left many unable to get through to 911. Shoshana Stahl breaks down how organizations in the metro are now preparing for more severe weather. There was a quick wind that came in, uh, not a lot of rain, but boy, it shocked me because uh, it came very fierce and very quick. And uh, I guess within uh, an hour or so, the electricity went down. Mike McCann has lived in his Olivet home for the last 20 years. During the severe weather nearly two weeks ago, power lines fell in his neighborhood. We were out for five days. Amarin tells News 4 crews are monitoring the weather. Teams have continued to make equipment repairs, and Amarin doesn't see any lingering issues. McCann says he hopes not, but if there are, he wants a clear timeline on fixes. They kept on saying, oh, it will be connected in six hours. And it was a broken promise. And then they promised again it was another six. And they did that a half a dozen times without any explanation. St. Louis County is urging people in the community to only call 911 when it's an emergency. Storms bring in an influx of calls, but they aren't bringing in special staff. St. Louis County says although there isn't a formal mutual aid agreement, it's best practice for the county and city to help each other. If you call and are waiting, dispatchers say you shouldn't hang up and call back. You'll just put yourself at the back of the line. You get our automated, our automated system that tells you to be patient and just until we can get to you. And if it is an emergency, put one person in charge of calling for help. It makes it more difficult when everyone involved is picking up their cell phones trying to dial 911. Once you realize that one of the Someone is dialing 911, just let them dial and, and talk to us and let us know what's going on. St. Louis County is hiring for more dispatchers. News 4 reached out to the city for any plans in place their 911 system has ahead of these storms. We haven't heard back yet. Shoshana Stahl, News 4. And we also reached out to MSD, the Metropolitan Sewer District, who tells us they have doubled the number of standby crews and are increasing staffing in their customer service call center.